Do you want to become a web developer or a software engineer? Do you want to make a difference in your life? Maybe you've been studying code already within the last couple months and you're wondering, do you have what it takes to even become a developer today? I'm gonna go ahead and talk about that right after this intro. So let's go right into it, man. Uh, today, what I do want to talk about is what it takes to become a web developer here in 2018. And, and not even just 2018, but this applies to just becoming a web developer in general. And to be truthfully honest, not just anyone can become a web developer. It's not like you just say, okay, I want to be a developer and you'll become one overnight. There are pretty much five things you have to be able to understand that you need to be able to do to become a developer. I know it's not money. I know it's not depending on what computer I have. But they're actually these five things that I'm gonna go ahead and talk about right now plain and simple number one And a lot of people have said this but it, it is true You have to be able to do this is that you have to be able to love to code And the reason I say this is because becoming a web developer and even when you become a developer You don't just stop learning after you get your first job number one. You're learning on the job, right? I'm working with HTML 5 meaning there was a HTML 1. I'm working with CSS Three, right? I'm working with JavaScript ES6. Um, I'm working with Vue.js 4. I'm working with PHP 6. Is it PHP 7 now? No, or is it 8? I don't even know anymore, right? Um, the like languages are constantly updating and not even just that just a couple years ago two three years ago jquery was the language you want to use to become a developer right jquery was extremely popular but now jquery i mean there are a lot of companies that still use it as legacy code because it is easy to use but the reason jquery was written was because javascript can't it's just honestly difficult to write in but now with es6 and with javascript improving and they're making updates to even that language itself now javascript is just getting even that much more easier to write code in to the point that Honestly, unless you don't know jQuery, like there's no point of learning jQuery anymore because you can easily do things in JavaScript that used to be hard, right? And so that's why we have ES6 now. Not even just that, now there's new frameworks coming out. Like there's uh, Vue.js, which I'm working with, right? There is React, which a lot of companies are working with, and Angular, which is actually the most difficult, I think, framework that you can try to learn today, but that's extremely popular too. So like these languages or frameworks weren't as popular a couple years ago, but now they're killing it. And these are the languages that are needed to um, sometimes make your company website better and even my company now we're thinking in the future of maybe there's a possibility that we can rewrite some parts on our, on our website and react or, or maybe we'll just do it in Vue.js but it's just that's what I'm talking about you have to be willing to learn that meaning you have to be willing to love it you have to love code and then people might be asking Kristen how do I love code I mean, I don't even code in the first place right I've never even tried it you just have to try it I mean if you want to check it out in my link in the description below you can go ahead and check out Team Treehouse, check out the seven day free trial. If you don't like it, cancel it within seven days or try it for a month, right? And that's what I use to help me become a developer in three months. But in order to see if you even love it, you have to try it out. Number one, you have to love it. Secondly, number two is that you have to be ready to fail. But what I mean is that you have to be ready to fail is that you will make a lot of mistakes. You will encounter bugs that you don't understand. You will go ahead, when you get that first job as a developer, even when you're learning code, uh, you have to understand is that you will not be able to solve everything. You will make mistakes. You will co come into road bumps or, that, or just like run into walls that you don't even know how to run through. There'll be times when you feel like, you know, you understand the language, but then you really don't. And I, I think this really goes along with pretty much have to be ready to feel stupid because the moment you think you know everything the moment you think you have a hang on that language or that framework or that la library you're going to realize that you don't very quickly and for me as well i thought i was really good at javascript and i'm very really comfortable with me i'm able to do what i need to do in the languages that i know when i took a self-assessment test i didn't know much at all there are things that i never even had to work on in my company and of course because some companies work on specific things and they don't use the some languages to its fullest ability because you don't necessarily need to 
when I took the assessment test, I'm like, wait, what the heck? I don't even know what this is. And I'm very thankful for that assessment test because it showed me what I need to know and what I need to learn to become a better programmer in general. And, and I learned some things I could even implement within my own code when I write at work too, which is amazing. But you have to understand that it's okay to feel stupid. You have to be ready to feel like you can't do it. You have to be ready to fail because that is a part of coding. And when it comes to coding, you're constantly learning. You are making mistakes. But it's through these mistakes you have to understand. It's through these mistakes that you become a better developer in general man number three but i think a lot of people actually don't understand how long it takes to understand code you have to understand that becoming a web developer it's not a sprint it's a marathon it's not just what happens overnight you have to be ready to be in it for the long haul right? like again like even when you become a developer you're still learning code the rest of your career to become even better you're improving and you need to if you want to stay valuable within this very competitive industry and so you have to be able to understand that you will not understand html css javascript jquery vue.js angular react php laravel uh, node.js python or whatever overnight but it will happen as long as you keep putting in the work in to become better at those languages, to understand those languages, learning the command line, working MySQL, working with MariaDB, working with MongoDB, whatever it is that you use, learning to work with these different languages, frameworks, backend languages, or whatever it is, or th these different databases, that's a lot of work. You're learning how to make a fully functional website, front end and back end, how to transfer data from one page to another, to send data, to post data, to work with RESTful APIs, to work with Swagger APIs. It's going to take a long time to understand but you have to be able to understand it. But when you get there, when you couldn't grasp it, man, the possibilities are endless. Number four, you have to be able to work. You have to be ready to work. You have to be willing to sacrifice time. I know people who play so many games and you know, I, I and I told them like, bro, you gotta stop playing that World of Warcraft. You have to actually start like sacrificing that time to learn to code because even for me personally, you know, gaming could really mess me up. There's a reason that I was 28 years old and I was struggling and living paycheck to paycheck because I didn't take the time to make a difference in my life. And so what I had to be willing to do was stop gaming and stop wasting time and just watching TV all day. Now YouTube still gets to me late at night, man. YouTube, you know what I'm, ah. Like you have to be willing to sacrifice. Okay, if you could code two or three hours a day, you will become a developer in a matter of maybe six months to a year. If you code two hours a day and then you game for six hours, when you could have used that those six hours to either apply to what you learned or at least study another three to four hours or spread that time of studying throughout that day so you can actually take the time to grasp what you just learned and become better at it you will not be able to become a developer because your your attention is to something else and whatever you put the most attention to is what you tend to love the most as well isn't that true and so when i say work hard you have to be willing to hustle and take things out of your life that are not necessary or at least take these things out temporarily right just for a moment momentarily take these things out just for that moment right i sing moment a lot <laughs> until you achieve your goal or lessen it as much as possible until you take it out because I can personally attest like gaming like it messes me up and I had to do everything I can to take that out and I was finally able to achieve it if you don't believe me go on my discord I used to talk about gaming on my discord a lot work hard and put in the hard work and just do whatever it takes okay number five last but not least the fifth thing that you need to be able to do and what it takes to become a developer is you just have to do it. And when I think about code, I, I think of the gym because for me, I, I went to the gym on and off for so long. There are times when I want to go to the gym, but I never put the time in. When it comes to the gym, you just have to do it, right? You, you can't think, you just like Nike, you just do it, you just do it, you just do it. You won't be able to stay consistent in the gym if you stop. You just have to start working now. But the same thing with code, you can't wait. If you want to try it out, you have to do it ASAP. If you want to become a developer, a web programmer, a web developer, whatever, a software engineer, you just have to do it. The longer you wait, the longer it'll take for you to become and reach it. So if you're considering becoming a web developer today, go for it. If you can't afford Treehouse, which I think is the best, again, link in description, you can check out Udacity's free front-end developer course. You can go to Free Code Camp. You can go to all these web... You can learn code from just YouTube videos. I used a YouTube video to make a first portfolio that helped me get the job I have today right so it, you can use anything there's no excuses money time whatever it is just do something about it because man this is the time to learn code you are not too late do it now
But anyway, guys, these are the five steps. These are the five things, and this is what it takes to become a web developer today. If you like this video, please like it. And if you have any suggestions of what else you need or what it takes to become a developer, or if you are a developer now, go ahead and post a comment below. Let me know and let the Deslight community know your thoughts. Thank you for watching, guys. This is Krishan. This is the life of a developer. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.